South Jamaica, baby, they made me to be the greatest. Serving the deed of my creators, fresh off of my high haters. It's the king again, Magdalene, Sophie bragging and boasting. Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Dollars. Welcome back to the channel. It's another day, another dollar video and i'm gonna be checking out this hogwarts legacy official gameplay reveal it looks like we're getting a new harry potter game now it's been a long time since i played anything that had to do with the harry potter world it's been like since like the late 90s bro i think 99 or 2000 no, it, was, it was around 2000 or 2001 i think it was when the first movie came out there was a game that was based off the first movie and i'm gonna be honest with you i only seen the first movie but i read the first two books so I will be reacting to the movies on my reaction channel. But uh, we're going to check this game out, man. I heard it's an open world RPG. I love RPGs. I love open world games. I've been playing The Witcher 3. I know it's been a minute since I've been dropping any videos on The Witcher 3. Is that, you know, when you got three channels that you're trying to run, it's hard to do videos for all three every day, you know? I got to get better at that. I apologize. But we're going to check this out and let's see what this game is looking like. <laughs> Is this uh, next gen only? The thing I like about Warner Brother games, they usually make good games based off of their movie uh, properties. Like the Batman games. We had the um, Shadow of Mordor. The Lord of the Rings games, which was good. So I expect this to be good too. Port Key games? I never heard of them. Lumos. Mix of gameplay and in game cinematics. Okay, so this is captured off the PS5. I ain't gonna lie, the graphics look good. What do you think you're doing here, humans? Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. You're a new student at the famed School of Witchcraft and Wizardry with a unique ability to manipulate powerful ancient magic hidden in the wizarding world. You'll need to uncover what's behind the return of this forgotten magic and who is seeking to harness it to destroy wizard kind, as you may be the one that decides the fate of the entire wizarding world. Can you choose your faction like Gryffindor, Slytherin? Because before you can study magic and begin to solve these mysteries, you must create the witch or wizard you want yeah, to be. that's fire. I'm gonna pick a Slytherin, Hogwarts, bro. You will be sorted into one of the four Hogwarts houses, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, or Slytherin. After you settle into your dormitory, you will meet up with your housemates in the common room. You will then need to attend classes, and you do have some catching up to do, as you were starting Hogwarts late, as a fifth year. So you are the new student. You'll begin your studies attending charms, defense against the dark arts, herbology, and potions classes, to name a few. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. Shall we begin? <laughs> welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with the passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. The best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. That was sick right there. You may begin. Ooh. Not bad for a beginner. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. Here you'll meet your professors and learn to cast spells, grow magical plants, brew potions and more. In between classes, you'll be able to explore the castle famous for its secrets enchantments and mysteries so far it looks like they're only showing a castle so i You'll imagine what the world looks like secret passageways Accio. as well as challenging puzzles Accio. that will require magical skill and a clever mind to solve are we going to get the invisibility visibility cloak in this too you may even find yourself in iconic locations you've never been able to explore before don't be
It's the late 1800s, so while the common rooms and classes may be familiar, most of your professors will not be. However, you may recognize a few faces. Uh, Come on, man, you gotta show Harry at least. Join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. Suffering is sure to win them over. Uh, don't forget why I'm here, sir. You'll come to know this eclectic group of talented witches and wizards in class and while completing side assignments that are part of a special curriculum. Ones designed to help you catch up with the other fifth years at your own speed. Woo! I forgot Quidditch? I think yeah, it's called Quidditch, that game. Opportunities for adventure abound in the area surrounding Hogwarts. The magical abilities you learn to master through your schoolwork will soon become tested as you unravel a dangerous I ain't mystery lie, I definitely want to play this be accomplished and yet enigmatic I definitely Professor will play this. to try and discover if the rumors of a mounting goblin rebellion hold any weight and if the safety of Hogwarts lies in the balance I have opinions differ as to how great a threat he really is so we got like a goblin evil wizard that's a cool enemy. Rock's loyalists are capable of so much more than people realize. The wizarding world of this era is fraught with dangers. Creatures corrupted by a magical force, powerful goblins, Ooh. and sinister witches and wizards, all willing to fight, even kill, to achieve yeah, their the own goals. Yeah, the gameplay is something that they're going to have to... In fact, there's gonna have to get that right. between the goblins and dark wizards. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Hmm. Who is this child? Do you not telling me? But perhaps you shouldn't involve yourself with that just yet. Let's go. That was cool right there. Made a bridge. I wonder you're gonna have to like have a certain level to get that spell where you could travel to areas that you couldn't travel in the beginning of the game. Enemies possess unique defensive and offensive abilities, including Damn. blasting curses, stunning spells, enchanted weaponry, and more. While some may attack directly, others might enchant and incapacitate you. Where's your defense? Mastery of the shield charm allows you to about deflect to say, ranged where the defense? spells and direct weapon strikes. Mm. Counter-attack with powerful stunning charms, allowing you to follow up with extended that spell combinations. Man. Students who become particularly adept at spell casting will find many ways to exploit their enemy's weakness. Look like some zombies. That was fire. Ooh. Slam with Descendo. Roast with Incendio. Devastate your enemies using various finishes. You can even use the mysterious, powerful magic your professors do not understand to obliterate your strongest Damn. foes. Mixing and matching dozens of spells will let you define your combat yeah, they, they got the combat on, on point. I like that. On your path to become the ultimate duelist. Can you throw them into somebody? Can you pick them up and throw them into somebody? That'd be tough. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. In addition to classes and spells, you'll have access to a deep set of upgrades, talents, and skills to aid your progression as a wizard. Complete challenges throughout the world to earn experience. Level up your abilities by choosing talents to upgrade your spells, plants, and potions to increase their power. Decide which talents best fit your playstyle to allow you to focus on your favorite types of magic. You can, loot you can also loot, buy, or craft your own magical gear. 
Yeah, hey, I was about it to say, what's up with the gear, bro? And defensive capabilities in I want to be able to customize my character. Gear can be upgraded and specialized to allow for greater abilities for your chosen playstyle. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your... I want a cloak, baby. Spells are not the only tools at your disposal in combat. As you hone your wand skills, you can continue to further your magical education at Hogwarts, progressing your development as a witch or wizard. Brew potions that can increase your power when you need a boost. Nice. Defensive as well. Grow and deploy magical plants to mob the battlefield and keep your enemies at bay. <laughs> You can even unleash deadly mandrake seedlings to incapacitate unsuspecting enemies. In Beast Class, I like the animation too. They did a good job with the animation. Encounter, both at school and as you explore the world surrounding the castle and its grounds. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver Ooh, on a broomstick. Nice. Learning and mastering broom flight is highly recommended so that you may travel around the world more quickly. They gotta make it a little bit faster though. I want you to do my herbology homework. You're despicable. Some abilities may be taught to you by students who become your friends. As you develop relationships with these schoolmates, they can accompany you on your journey as your companions. Alright man, when is this and dropping? over time, you'll learn their stories. Cause I wanna cop. When is dropping bro? This is our chance! Natsai Onai is a brave adventurer driven by the justice she seeks. Poppy Sweeting has a kind heart and loves magical beasts, connecting with them more easily than with humans. What happens now? Unafraid of detention or breaking the rules, Sneaking in the restricted section again! is Sebastian Sallow, a charismatic Slytherin. We've been over this boy. Trouble things cannot reverse a curse. With a so I feel like, all right, let's say I choose Slytherin. I feel like maybe I'll get more stealth abilities. Like depending on what um, class you choose, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, you're going to have more abilities that pertain to that class. You feel me? A troubling family secret. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. You'll meet these students and more as you explore common rooms, hallways between classes, and regular gathering areas. Welcome to the Room of Requirement. One of the most remarkable secrets of Hogwarts is known as the Room of Requirement. You're introduced to this space that seems to sense what you need and then provides it for you. Invisibility potion, okay. Since you need to catch up to your peers, the room provides space for you to sow and harvest plants, brew potions, and upgrade your gear. A helpful house elf named Deke helps you discover vivariums that allow you to nurture your own menagerie of magical beasts. What is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. You can freely customize this space to reflect your personality and magical specialties. Nice. Got your own little base. Damn, there's a random dragon Not everything flying? you need on your journey is available at Hogwarts. You'll want to visit the nearby wizarding village of Hogsmeade, where loads of shops and vendors can provide you with the supplies you require. Potion ingredients and recipes, to seeds for magical plants, to all sorts of gear. But Hogsmeade also has its dangerous side. A band of dark witches and wizards, emboldened by the turmoil of the times, wander the village outskirts. I wonder if you can upgrade you your must wand avoid too. Them or defeat them. Most likely. You can. As you explore, you'll find the world surrounding Hogwarts is alive with activity, wonders, and areas of How unusual interest. How big is interest. this map, though? As the school year progresses, dynamic seasons and climates will fill the sky with lightning or sunshine, or coat the ground with snow or rain. Unique wizarding hamlets pepper the countryside, each with vendors and residents who have stories to tell, and missions with which they could use your assistance. Side Be on the lookout for enchanting magical puzzles that may very well have been designed by Merlin himself, 
when he was a student at Hogwarts. Magical beasts roam the lands outside the castle walls. Some have been corrupted by a mysterious dark magic, while others are at risk of poachers and their traps. So if this is reminding me of Witcher, I ain't gonna lie. And restore them to health in the Giving me some planet. Witcher 3 vibes. But there are dangers beyond your understanding in the world as well. Dungeons and vaults hold perilous threats and also untold rewards. Be careful where you choose to explore, as it may lead you down a darker path. Master spells. Befriend new allies. Journey across a landscape never seen before. Uncover ancient secrets. Combat mystical threats. Learn long forgotten mysteries. Become the witch or wizard you want to be, as you leave your unique mark on the wizarding world. Here, in Hogwarts Legacy. Okay, so it's coming out in the holidays of this year. That's good to know. I was wondering, is this coming out this year or next year? So this game looks amazing. It looks like they went all out with this. This looks like a game that I would buy and definitely play. And um, I like that they went all out with the customization. Basically, it's giving me a Witcher 3 vibes. You know, open world RPG, level up your character, find new gear, go on quests, help people. You know, this might actually be the best Harry Potter game. I love that they added the broomstick. It also... Apologize for the noise, bro. I love that they added the broomstick. It looks like there'll, there'll be other animals that you'll be flying on. So that's also amazing. You know, the one thing we really don't know is the story, which I guess we will get more of that later down the line. But, you know, this game looks good. I wonder what the online aspect is going to be. Because, you know, they could actually have a crazy online aspect to this. You know, how games are nowadays with the multiplayer. Maybe you get raided. You got to fight against other dudes trying to raid you for your gear. Or, you know, cook, uh, you probably be able to co-op play with somebody to do the story. Who knows? But... You know, they could actually build something upon this with the multiplayer and make it great. So that's my thoughts on this. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, please drop a like, subscribe. I will do more reactions to other games coming out. I will continue making let Let's Plays. And uh, if you guys enjoy that, please drop a like and subscribe, man. It's your boy. Ha ha, let y'all.